Hello and welcome to the South Talkies podcast. Today we're going to talk about the Malayalam movie Sudani from Nigeria, uh, starring Saubin Shahir, Samuel Robinson, Savitri Sridharan, Sarasa, and uh, K T C Abdullah. Uh, Sudani from Nigeria, released in two thousand and eighteen, is a sports-based drama film and is currently streaming on Netflix. Uh, so today to talk about the movie we have on the pod uh, Hari Aran. Hi Hari, how are you? I'm fine, Kumar, and hello to all our listeners. let's have probably hear your first thoughts on the movie before we uh, delve deeper uh, so what are your first thoughts uh, after you watched the movie yeah my first thought after watching the movie was the uh, surprise the sweet surprise that uh, malayalam movie keeps doing these sweet little films right i mean i'm just amazed at the consistency with which these uh, offbeat movies are uh, made uh, and uh, for mainstream audience um again there is another movie where the context is different this is a sports based drama like kumar was telling but there is a bigger theme of whole uh, humanity and uh, relationships love etc but still you know they they somehow fit it into their uh, local culture nothing is out of place again tremendous performances my my uh, again a first reaction was that uh, yet another gem from malayalam cinema that no one should uh, really miss Yeah, I had three very specific first thoughts after I watched the movie. Uh, the first was that uh, see, I watched it sometime in two thousand and nineteen, I guess, uh, or maybe even two thousand and twenty. Now, to be fairly honest, I can't recollect. Uh, the thing is that after the lockdown, a lot of uh, Malayalam movies became a lot more popular with people because they were binging on content and they had a lot more time available. So, one of the movies that made the list uh, was Sudani from Nigeria. uh if you see the lists of even a lot of non bollywood uh, sorry non uh, south indian critics or reviewers like you know anupama chopra or rajiv masand they had included sudani from nigeria in their list but strangely uh, how there has not been a lot of uh, analysis or articles or material on the movie uh, i don't know if it's because of the casting you know saubin shahir uh, while still a very popular actor in kerala does not make it to the big list i'm not sure how many people outside of malayalam will know about him uh the second point i wanted to make was that uh you know even though it's categorized as a sports drama film i thought that it's it's more of a sports dramedy a sports drama comedy film if you can call it that because i felt that the movie the setting was around sports but uh, you know except for maybe the first 15 minutes the, after that there's not a lot of focus on football but the focus on life around football Uh, and uh, th- there was a lot of uh, humor throughout the movie just like sprinkled uh, in 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 a very in the in the right content if i can put it uh, that way um, so definitely a sports drama comedy i would say uh, and the third thing is uh, how often do we see a mainstream movie that has a, a muslim family as the protagonist and everybody is a uh, everybody is from the muslim faith in this movie right and it doesn't look exaggerated doesn't look out of place see may- maybe it's a normal thing in kerala you see a lot of their films where uh, the all the protagonists are maybe christians or muslims uh, there, there is a good healthy mix and so that can be attributed to maybe the uh, how do i say how the society is there in kerala but you cannot see any of this these kind of stories outside so it was a very pleasant surprise because in general i've seen that when there is a depiction of let's say christians or muslims or any other minority community in other languages it's either uh, too romanticized or you know the obvious stereotypes or you know is, is, there are always very contrived uh, performances and uh, settings here it just felt in place you felt that you're watching okay they're just another family who are going through their lives uh, with uh, you know similar set of everything they are also right you might think uh, that oh maybe we don't know a lot about their life or whatever it is you know the same set of problems right she's worried that her son is not getting married you know the son and the father or stepfather are not getting along so it was very refreshing change that that was actually the first thought i got after i watched the movie hey i would like to touch upon the third point that you raised right this whole uh, muslim setting and how it is natural and so on right so i would like to refer to a couple of earlier movies in malayalam right this kumbalangi nights and mahesh inta pratikaram so both these movies similar to this uh, sudani from nigeria they are very true to their setting um, i actually think you know half the work in terms of detailing 
uh, in terms of you know uh, bringing some texture to the uh, story and the screenplay is achieved by simply you know being true and uh, uh, faithful to the setting that you are capturing right so uh, the, uh, just like you know pretty much everything else in the movie uh, the muslim setting is just, just a natural thing i mean this is how it is i mean take any uh, big budget uh, uh, tamil movies or uh, bollywood movies uh, the 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 context or the setting is is taken for granted right for instance you can probably you know the director could have placed a particular story uh, in in any anywhere in the world in anywhere in inside india right if it is a say urban movie he could have placed it anywhere uh, and uh, it, it's pretty much you know similar to all the generic uh, rural masala movies that we get but malayalam movies always seem to focus on you know getting this background context very very you know uh, properly and and uh, i don't know why a lot of people do that because uh the, the screenplay would blend in seamlessly with you know the characters and the background again i want to talk about this whole iduki song that comes in uh, uh, you know my yes, yes, yes. in the beginning right i mean it's you just transported into their world and uh, you don't question anything after that you just buy everything as natural as it can come right and similar to the kumbalangi nights uh, all this boat scene where you know they they move around in the backwaters and so on the setting is established and there is no drifting i i, I have a lot of problem right with uh, tamil cinema especially where this detailing is taken for granted you pick any movie they could have done it in madurai they could have done it in chennai uh, just, just as generic as it uh, can get uh, and uh, i i sort of you know like the last movie that i remember which used this context very well was the subramanyapuram uh, in, in in tamil movie and of course all the other uh, movies like parthi viran and so on yeah uh, it's it's probably new for us because it is a muslim context but uh, it's not new to malayalam cinema as what i was trying to tell you a great point right uh, with respect to the detailing and the settings in line with that uh, so so you're a big football fan and uh, so how did you look at the uh, culture of the sevens uh, in the, in that area of uh, kerala and and the whole uh, football culture did, did you enjoy that i mean have you yeah how did you see it yeah i absolutely enjoyed it right so the the interesting part to me was was the fact that uh, um, football being such a glamorous and uh, uh, gloriously followed game all over and uh, you know the uh, higher rung footballers they actually make you know so much money but once you slip down the divisions it's just like real world right people are struggling to make their ends meet there is a survival question and so on so the uh, there is a whole lot of unglamorous and uh, in fact dirty side to this footballing world uh, similar to you know pretty much uh, in either industry or any other sports that uh, you choose that that probably goes very unnoticed right so uh, there is a dilemma for any budding footballer especially when he knows that you know he doesn't belong to the top level there is love for the game but he also knows that he has limited ability so he just simply cannot drop his love for the game and you know go do something else and that uh, struggle was shown you know like very nicely in this right so we uh, they are they probably know that you know their their uh, talent or the caliber of the league or whatever the tournament that they are playing is not the best everybody knows that but the love for the game and also trying to you know like make it as a your livelihood was very very well shown and by the way some of the most passionate and true following happens locally so all these local clubs and all these local you know teams which which may not even be at the city level right they might be at this uh, a uh, smaller club level or the 7th level or 8th level in the football hierarchy they have some of the most passionate fans so i thought all of that was shown very very you know nicely the the, the whole scene about how they go in a van you know the uh, uh, shobin shahid tells one guy you know like hey i don't have petrol and all he said no problem sleep and come in the bus tomorrow and all <laughs> those things are you know like very real the struggle for money is real but the love for the game keeps them going so uh, i absolutely enjoyed all the things 
yeah yeah that was great right and and it was not very much in your face yeah uh, the fact that you know they have that passion for the game yet they are struggling for money it was it was not very beautifully in that scene where at mm. the end of the match uh, saubin is distributing the money to all the players i think he keeps giving i don't know 1000 500 2000 whatever <laughs> the mm. end of all of it he i think he has either 500 rupee note or 100 rupee note left with him that is all yeah. that is, is remaining and yeah. the funny part is even then he is telling his uh, friend or his associate whoever it is is that you know you have to put that message of passion in that whatsapp group well, <laughs> don't just uh, limit with these much put put some more egg them on a little bit more and all <laughs> that was so much fun and uh, you know he goes home uh, and and you know he comes back to stay with these guys who are uh, you know i think they've taken a small home and where all the football yeah. guy where all the african the players are staying yeah. yeah yeah whatever pg so that that passion was uh, very infectious uh, to watch right yeah so i, I think as a football fan i i don't watch football but i, I really admired how the director had uh, portrayed that passion without you know like putting it in your face saying oh no not like we are passionate but but mm-hmm. uh, also i think on the field whenever he has an argument uh, later also i i think uh, Uh, there is a scene that comes later in the movie where uh, there is a there is this commentator commentator who is saying that oh my god no this uh, the saubin's team is a little uh, i don't know behind or uh, they are they are really yeah. weak because they don't have uh, sudani uh, yeah. and then he goes and says no how can you say such things don't say bad things you will you know demoralize the players so uh, fantastic yeah, yeah. Uh, depiction of the uh, football passion in that um so the sports aside yeah sports uh, so now that uh, you know the sports aside how how did you look at the uh, interpersonal relationships right there it, there are uh, there are four main characters right one mm-hmm. is uh, majid uh, that is uh, what is sabin shahar's character then is samuel uh, sudani <laughs> who is actually a nigerian but you know but, uh, what is the reason yeah. by the way that everybody keeps calling him a sudani no so uh, it's it's actually a joke right i mean in the sense uh, uh, everybody uh, every good uh, footballer uh, who might have come to uh, kerala or specifically this region as an import they assume you know they are from sudan it's just their you know okay. naivety that they cannot differentiate uh, uh, the uh, african countries right i mean yeah. uh, it's, it's it's as simple as that okay yeah yeah so yeah And so we have samuel actually says you know i am from nigeria but they are not bothered so no they actually say yes to it and still call him sudani they're yeah. like ah okay 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 bye sudani <laughs> so yeah so we have four characters right one is uh, one is uh, saubin as majid samuel as samuel uh, then the very important character savitri sridharan as the mother right she she had such mm-hmm. a fantastic role and performance and the mm-hmm. fourth uh, is uh, the neighbor i think sarasa is this beyuma character i i really yeah, yeah. love the inclusion of that character because see we have uh, you know we have the friends characters in movies but in how many movies have we seen the mother's friend as one of the important characters or yeah, actually that's a great point right but all of our mothers have at least one friend that they lean exactly, on exactly exactly and it's a support system right i mean uh, you, you can that's their probably only you know time that they can be true to themselves they open up about their life troubles family troubles they can't tell the husbands or the children but tell me that one person that they will open to I, you you're absolutely right i've never seen why such a character has never been written or we have missed it in other cinema i don't know so i don't think it has never been written but i think so much significance has never been given and the way she lives with this family also you know she she acts almost like a mother to majid uh, in, mm. in one of the first scenes where he meets her he tells her that uh, you know you are like my mother unki and you know in very casual conversation he's like uh, he mentions that he's like yeah i know that and i also know that i have the right to give you a tight slap if you go wrong yeah that that was so endearing to watch the fact that you know yeah, actually and... you know i i remember some sto- i mean uh, some childhood memories right so all these women from the other house they actually wielded a lot of power and decision making because you know and and the children would actually be afraid of the aunt from the next house yes yes is great character and throughout the movie she comes Uh, there is also a point when his mother jamila right she complains she 
so that is sort of an ex- i wouldn't call it an exposition but that is where they sort of reveal why uh, majid is so upset with his mother and father and that is when we come to know that he is not actually the father but a stepfather where jamila says that you know what i actually didn't even yeah. want to marry but my relatives pressure and this beyuma just shuts her down saying yeah 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 enough of your complaint now you yeah. make the food for sudu so it is great and and coming back to the mother character so this uh, character of jamila reminded me so much of the mothers in our life and our own mother she has her own son with whom she is still having issues this guy is still mm-hmm. has towards both the mother and the stepfather but she still yeah. loves him and you know she takes care of a completely different stranger just because you know her son wants to or she thinks that you know she loves her son so she has to take care of him too i mean i'm not able to put it in the right words but you no, know I that that can be that the, could be any of our mothers right no no the the initial reaction right uh, i mean this is my guess uh, adding on to whatever you're saying so the first time that she decides to take care of sudani might be because you know like his son her son has brought him home and you know given the relationship you know it, it is one way for her to really make amends with him and so on but then i think over time the true uh, motherhood uh, or the uh, mothership comes out of her and uh, she takes care of him you know truly from her heart so that that's my theory right it may not only be because uh, majid brought him home but after some time she also warms up naturally to sudani and her motherly instincts kick in definitely definitely i think there is some point where uh, majid tells that you know maybe we have to let go of him or something i think there is a conflict where he learns that uh, samuel has taken money from that uh, nisar who, right. who is one of his uh, in the opposing faction and at that yeah. point he tells his mother that you know what i'm going to leave him in the hospital and she just puts her foot down for one of the few times or at least probably the only time in the film if i'm not wrong she's yeah. like no sudu will stay here and i will take care of him just just go get him or whatever yeah and she she so that's one of the yeah so that, that was great to see like i told this character of uh, jamila and beema really reminded me of the mothers in our lives i don't know remind me of your mother who i have met my mother and our friend uh, a yeah. fantastic setting and and the, see i mean we we've seen so many movies where you know the mother is such a stock character in indian cinema right across uh, languages and across genres there has been more songs about mothers there have been movies based on mothers and uh, you know we we have the uh, big dialogues and all mere paas maa hai and all that but <laughs> but this mother character was was something very different it felt a lot closer to home for uh, whatever reason which i'm not able to put it out maybe you can or maybe somebody who's listening in can um so but and and a great performance right uh, she she's not like uh, it, it yeah. was not over the top it was not underplayed it's just just hitting the right notes uh, yeah. by uh, yeah. sarvati while yeah. while you are on jamila right so the one particular scene that i really enjoyed was when she actually goes to uh, clean or uh, bathe uh, uh, sudani right i mean mm-hmm. some sort of uh, hesitation in uh, sudani's you know looks where he thinks you know like oh what is she doing and so on but then they sort of, sort of uh, melt away and then he realizes really you know how loving and caring she becomes and uh, the the uh, subtext to this whole scene uh, takes it to a different level right i mean uh, she actually wishes that she could do all this to uh, her son i mean uh, obviously she doesn't want uh, uh maji to be injured and uh, lying you know immobile in a bed and all but she yearns for uh, his love and some way you know like she satisfies herself by uh, doing the service to uh, sudani and uh, this guy you know like uh, he's obviously you know very grateful and uh, teary eyed uh, with jamila and all but he misses his uh, grandmother and his life probably is thinking about his mother who passed away very early in his life and so on so there is lot of you know like uh, people who are enjoying the current moment but they still you know there is a bigger loss in their life that they haven't overcome so i thought that scene was the best in the movie if you ask me. what was your uh, take on the humor in the movie I, i think that comedy part is sort of not spoken about in the movie at all but i thought they had some really funny moments throughout the movie right the part which i really enjoyed was when <laughs> majis would go to see a girl they had this recurring thing where his friends would form 
some sort of a semi circle on a chair yeah and they would pull that table of snacks and tea towards them and they i think they would do it twice or thrice i don't remember and basically yeah, all of this yeah all of his ventures turn out to be failures because you know he's is not completed high school and uh, you know he doesn't have a steady job one point was so funny where i laughed out loud was i think he meets this girl who asks him uh, you know if he has what he has studied and he says that he has failed high school and she asks <laughs> why and he says something about family struggles and all and she asks him so is that why you failed in high school and he says <laughs> no <laughs> yeah i just laughed out so loud that people in my house gave an ask what what's what's that See, it's it's not a very laugh out loud moment for a lot of people but I, I, there are for, for me at least right a lot of times it's not the scenes that are written for the big laughs but a lot of these smaller scenes which might actually yeah, yeah. be very funny in real life right when so, if somebody asks you like they to for to, to quote a very this thing uh, lame tamil joke there was this enna pa padichiruka velaiku abdinone there is this guy who says pattaadu and then the guy says pattaadu so <laughs> yeah. i don't know that could be really funny with the timing in real life right but uh, yeah so anyway so all his wedding scenes i thought were really really funny and uh, very well shot and there is this wedding broker who comes who makes majid sit in the back seat he tells till you yeah. get married i will sit in the front seat <laughs> he had so much power over yeah. him because he knows that this yeah. fellow is desperate to get married yeah really, really funny so, scenes i think you aptly described it as a sports dramedy right so i thought it was uh, uh, very subtle intentional and also it juggled between some serious scenes and that uh, made it little less on the face uh, for instance the scene that we spoke about right that heavy scene between uh, jamila and suranya and all it is sandwiched between some uh, comedy stretches where this guy is in police station and uh, so on and uh, you you rightly said right so all these uh, little witty dialogues the whole uh, why did you not study well or the uh, you know sleep in the bus and come tomorrow if you don't have petrol all these are very natural it's very witty and uh, like you said not on the face comedy but i absolutely enjoyed the comedy again it 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 fits well within the context so some of the jokes if you take it out of context and put in a different movie it may not work but when it blends seamlessly like in this movie it really worked yeah in fact in fact just to close it off i have I, there is this one moment where i really enjoyed there is this girl he is talking to the same girl who asked if he why he failed right she he <laughs> already starts assuming that you know she'll have to stay home and take care of all his <laughs> she just cuts him off saying sorry majid and <laughs> the next cut is to him fighting in the football match yeah yeah with a big group of people he's at the center of the fight and and that's a beautiful way to show right his frustration because he's not the kind okay. of guy uh, for some reason in, in at least uh, i've seen about like around five six movies where uh, i've watched saudin shahir uh, and in a lot of the movies he has played this guy who who doesn't really go out and voice his frustration and he's not very loud and all of that yep. he's usually a very understated guy keeps his feeling yeah it, it was a beautiful way to show that you know there was only one way to take out all his anger his father <laughs> yeah. his stepfather is he's not getting married he's not getting enough money superb cut and, and they just cut it there also they, they don't like really draw out the fight scene another director mm. another writer or maybe they even shot a longer fight scene but there was a fantastic cut and just just to cut it fight and so the beautiful end yeah. so i really enjoyed that particular moment yeah so what do you think of the relationship between uh... Sudani and Majid so i i think when it comes to uh, sudu and uh, majid uh, it's really about them moving on from you know being a manager and a player to you know becoming friends towards the end of the movie right because both of them realize that they have difficulties in their life and uh, maybe majid doesn't uh, share so much with sudu but and sudu doesn't understand the problems that he has with his father as well but when majid learns about all the background struggles of sudu what he faced back home in nigeria he sort of realizes that you know football or maybe his is not the only football is not the only thing important in life and i think it also sort of brings home to him that you know some petty resentment is not important so I, at least i thought he learned a lot more from sudu than what sudu could have learned from him uh, but uh, yeah at least that's how i saw it towards the end of the movie Sudu sort of yeah. teaches Majid as to what is important in life 
which is why Majid decides to mend his relationship with his stepfather father towards the end. And they sort of uh, metaphorically show that, you know, a goal has been scored with the painting that Sudhu has made, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I thought it was a very fitting end that Majid has learned what is important in life. Yeah. Yeah. I actually uh, had a different take, right? Um, so the couple of things, a uh, couple of sport, football sport references were uh, very important if you ask me. Uh, one of it is, you know, uh, what happens when a very popular player, uh, like a superstar in the Sevens League, like Sunani, what happens when an opposite club offers him some money? Right? So this is a, the transfer between uh, clubs is a big Thing, if you actually ask me because the uh, so-called agents if you want to call uh, Majid as an agent here they've actually invested uh, a lot of time their life savings to identify a person bring him to a different country uh, shoot him into limelight and then you know he they turn their own uh, turn their back on this guy and go to a different club right so it's a very uh, complicated and a personal uh, thing uh, when you know Majid actually learns that he might have accepted money so that is first reference. Secondly, an injury in a football career uh, at the age when the Sudani is, right? And uh, a seemingly a career-threatening injury, like the one that he has where he is bedridden and so on. The same agents who talk about loyalty when they talk to the other clubs, they are usually, you know, very uh, savage. They can, uh, they drop these players as some sort of, you know, uh, damaged goods, or if you want to call that, and uh, they would be ruthlessly moving on to the other players, right? So here, I actually, you know, feared for the worst. I thought, you know, the screenplay would take uh, a bad turn from the, all the sweetness that we saw. I actually thought uh, Majid, since, you know, he's still struggling for money, you know, he's still struggling to meet his ends meet. Uh, he, I thought, you know, it, it would have been easy to actually... Uh, show the ruthlessness side and no one would have questioned. But the whole conflict resolution between them, right, how uh, they come to terms to the fact that, you know, like he understands why Sudani might have done and Sudani is actually very thankful that Majid understands and he still nurses him. I thought that was beautiful. So, their relationship also grew in a way that at least I didn't, you know, uh, anticipate. I, it, it could have been a very easy thing to make it all Bollywoodish or Collywoodish and say, you know, like uh, paint one of them as bad guy. I, I often wonder how can you advance a plot where all of them uh, retain their innate goodness, right? So this is one movie where they didn't do anything uh, bad to the characters and they stayed true you know, to uh, whatever their innate characters and still managed to advance the plot. Hey, great explanation. I Since maybe I don't have uh, a lot of knowledge of football, uh, I didn't really see it that way, but but great observation, uh, great observation. Uh, so, if you want to uh, talk about some standout scenes, uh, what, what would you? Which what are the scenes that you would uh, mention? Yeah, I think the Jamila scene definitely, uh, where she is uh, nursing uh, Sudani, and uh, the climax scene, right? Of course, I know that you know it is going to be emotional, and I was ready to uh, close the movie and all, but still, when uh, Samuel comes back and uh, Hugs Maji, you know, it was uh, beautiful. And the all the, uh, uh, the football scenes uh, from the beginning, right, they were very well shot. So you made a great point, right, where uh, Majid goes and, uh, um, you know, picks a fight with the commentator saying, you know, don't uh, uh, deduce the morale of the group and so on. And uh, we should also talk about uh, the stepfather, right? I mean, he doesn't have many lines. He just comes... Uh, he's shown as a weak man. I don't know if his, uh, um, you know, uh, gait uh, is a reference to him not having a backbone or not having a say in the proceedings. But uh, uh, he's so weak, and you know, he's probably neglected. Uh, still, you know, the, the final scene where uh, Majid brings him home. There are many beautiful scenes. Again, how do you pick one in such a beautiful movie? It's a very difficult task. What about you, Kumar? Uh, for me, the last scene is obviously the favorite where Majid uh, makes up with his stepfather. Uh, the reason I like that scene a lot is because, uh, again, like I said, see, you can you can draw out a scene or you can create some impact with just one, 
with maybe an expression or maybe a couple of dialogues and and i really like the way they resolved it right he just comes and says salam alaikum yeah. and he responds and he said let's go home that's it it's beautiful the way yeah. he brings him back home just show don't tell so that was very impactful for me as a scene and uh, if i have to pick another scene i think uh, i think all the interactions between uh, majid and uh, sudu were really uh, I, i think after the point when they realize when majid like you said when majid realizes that sudu has actually borrowed money from the uh, other club i think the, yeah. those scenes were very good because like you said you sense that okay maybe there is going to be some sort of a conflict or you know this guy is going to throw yeah. him out or whatever i thought they really performed well in that particular uh, scenario so uh, like you said throughout a uh, lot of uh, very impressive scenes uh, but stand out uh, one is the uh, resolution with the father and and uh, like i said the sudu and the majid scenes and i really enjoyed all the uh, wedding uh, not the wedding the girl girl meeting scenes so for, yeah. for some reason that the, the, those were really a stand out one of the reasons is because as much as uh, is because it, it's really how oblivious his friends are to the entire his entire frustration or whatever for them yeah. for, for them it is just another trip <laughs> they go and have tea and snacks so. our friends will be like that right i mean yeah. why care whether you know like the girl likes majid or not i'll be interested in the snacks i mean that's so beautifully done <laughs> so yeah those, those were the and uh, yeah yeah at least for me it it was overall a very well shot movie but these were sort of the uh, stand out scenes stand out uh, performances from the uh, top uh, five actor i mean from the lead actors not top five i mean uh, it's it's uh, obvious right i mean this is a movie with a handful of main characters and all of them have done well uh, i i really enjoyed uh, uh, you know the um, like you said uh, uh, uh sarasa right uh, what's her name i forgot biuma biuma yeah yeah biuma and uh, of course you know uh, uh, sobin shahir uh, is, is is phenomenal right i mean uh, i think i also seen him in some four to five movies and he never disappoints and uh, uh, he seems to slip into his roles very easily right i mean from kumbalangi nights to this if i think of it uh, he doesn't wear you know any uh, uh, costumes there is barely any makeup uh, complete disregard for uh, his looks uh, he doesn't even wear you know uh, uh, different uh, shirts to distinguish him from one movie to the other movie but somehow he seems to uh, take us to his world very effortlessly so uh, he would definitely be you know uh, in the top 3 performances but all of them have done very well of course yeah i th- i think i just want to i completely agree by the way everybody gave a great performance but adding on to southern right uh, adding on to whatever you said everything is exactly correct just one thing is that there are some emotions which i don't know maybe you can't write or you'll have to write like you know a lot of sentences and words to describe which he which he sort of brings out in an expression in in a, in a particular mm-hmm. scene like uh, yeah. for example the expression he gives after he clears out the bedpan of sudu right you can't yeah. actually describe it as disgust yeah. that, that that would be a very simplistic way of de- describing it okay he is thinking a lot of things at that point one why is he doing this why does he have to do this or what has yeah. he done to get himself in a situation like this it's a lot of those things that he just brings out in that particular expression at that point it's it's yeah so yeah so kamal of, you should see- yeah kamal used yes, to tell yes. in one interview right so he said uh, acting is about making people understand the feeling of the character yeah and uh, yeah. you know you have to show it in very few reactions and they have to get it now I, when you described uh, shobin's reactions right, it's probably not one uh, emotion that he has to convey there is a mixture of them and some of it seems to uh effortlessly deliver it on screen with if, if i have to give an example that uh, some of the tamil movie fans might recognize there is a scene in vete adu vilayadu where kamal removes the plastic bag from jyotika's head and stops her from killing herself yeah. and then he walks and puts the cover in the dustbin he, the, gautam menon told right that i had written yeah. some four five dialogues for that scene but kamal just made all of them redundant and we didn't use any of those so yeah 
it's, it's that is a parallel example you know if it has to mean anything anyway so a lot of great points talked to me what did not work for you is, is there anything that you think that did not work in the movie it was a misfit or something like that no i thought this uh, in a very natural movie the whole uh, passport thing was a uh, bit contrary but uh, again i understand that it's another uh, important issue that they have uh, handled very very deftly right i mean this whole uh, fake passport refugee angle it's not done over the top i am again glad that there was a good conclusion to that episode i i was worried you know like they might be dragged by the authorities and so on and so forth so that whole stretch of uh, fake passport uh, was little uh, cinematic but again uh, on uh, second thought uh, it was not too bad i don't have uh, major complaints uh, about the movie yeah, did you have any issues with uh, sudo's flashback no i actually quite enjoyed it right i mean uh, maybe it it is uh, it, it deviated from uh, the word that we so got used to uh, i didn't have have any problem with that um, the actors were not too bad there also i mean i was fine with that okay. yeah i i also had only an issue with uh, the um, uh, passport entire missing thing but thankfully like you said they didn't drag it out too much at one point i thought oh my god this will get too serious but uh, Yeah. yeah sort of they resolved it in a very uh, oh my god it's here kind of a way so that 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 is something that i like because you know uh, that is what, the reason i like that is there are actually a lot of conflicts in real life that get resolved like that you know you keep yeah. wondering oh my god what's going to happen and one day it's this like okay this is there this here all along why what it so <laughs> yeah overall closing thoughts on surani from nigeria well i'm just uh, excited and i, I hope that this uh, great list of uh, new age malayalam movies never stop um and uh, i am i'm glad that you know like uh, in the uh, ott world of uh, violence investigation uh, scandal controversies uh, there are also these movies which are uh, very simple and uh, uh, play on human emotions drama comedy so uh this if if someone wants a relief from all the heavy stuff of course you know very very good stuff that you see on these uh, ott platforms i would uh, definitely recommend uh, sorani from nigeria and i look forward to uh, sobin's next movie right and uh, like i said he is uh, he's a great actor very well recognized inside malayalam but uh, it's high time he takes the leap to a bigger league i don't mean he should uh, do other uh, you know movies other language movies but uh, i just hope he gets more recognition that's all yeah i think you've summarized it pretty well and i don't know if you've said this in another podcast of ours uh, when you i mean you praise malayalam cinema already a lot but uh, let me just add one more is the reason you said uh, why malayalam movies are great is because they get their local right which makes their movie global yeah okay they make their issues local and the setting is so natural is that so that everybody from anywhere is able to you know sit down and enjoy and maybe relate to that movie at some level or the other so yeah, yeah okay. so yeah i look forward to i would recommend uh, sudani from Ni- in fact i've recommended uh, sudani from nigeria to quite a number of people i don't know if they've uh, followed up on that but uh, i would definitely recommend it as a uh, must watch in the uh, list of malayalam movies that they can catch on netflix so guys if you're listening in uh, catch sudani from nigeria on netflix and uh, until then have a great day thank you for listening to this episode of south talkies if you like this discussion please click on the like button and share it with your friends using the share option For regular updates do subscribe to our channel on your favorite podcast listening platform it could be Spotify it could be Google Podcasts or it could be Apple Podcasts if you have a movie or a topic in south indian movies you would like us to talk about do tweet to us at the south talkies on twitter and also follow us on our twitter handle until we come back with a new episode have fun and have a great day bye